Key considerations for states when developing an exchange include the nature of their population mainly and how they cover the uninsured and Medicaid individuals now. Certain states have very rich coverage for Medicaid and have a small percentage of uninsured, which would be specific situations that would lead to customization of their exchange. Individual states will customize their exchanges based on where the balance of power lies within a state. If it's in the Department of Insurance, the exchange may be housed there and it will be focused on rate increases. If it's in the Medicaid agency, the exchange may be housed there where it will be focused more on eligibility. The exchange is seen right now as going to attract less healthy individuals because the people that need subsidies through the government are going to be forced to buy through the exchange. And the carriers are thinking that if they participate in the exchange, will their risk pool go south? And by law, they're going to have to charge the same premium rate in the exchange and outside the exchange. So if their risk pool in the exchange goes south, they're going to have to charge higher rates outside the exchange, which might not allow them to compete as well with other carriers that don't participate in the exchange.